where you would track your progress right now. Year three at Penn State, you got a lot of reps last year. Um, how far have you come along uh, just since the start of your salt of your retro freshman season? Um, a lot. I would like to say uh, it's been it's been a long time coming. I feel like I still have a long ways to go. Um, I made like a lot of steady progress. Um, I, like I, I pride myself on that. Just every year, every every game, every practice, just like trying to get. Not just one percent better, but like fifteen percent, twenty percent better. And just you know, working on every like little aspect of your game. So uh, I think I think I've gotten better, a lot better, and um, I can't wait to just show that and uh, be playing the game. Under Snyder, uh, Jason, you and Micah had a, another race out there with the forty. Um, where are you at 40 wise and what are some of your latest testing numbers, whether maybe, I don't know if you tested over the summer or while you were out in California, maybe. Dude, me and Micah didn't run the 40. We ran a, a, you like, guys ran? it was 20 yeah. yards. And, um, so I, I haven't timed myself in the 40, um, in a while. So I'm not sure what I'm at, but I know I'm faster than what I was when I didn't run it. And, um, but yeah, that, that race that was not that wasn't a forty. It was it was twenty. And um, all I'm gonna say is Cameron. That's all I'm gonna say. But yeah, it's better. <laughs> Mark Wilgenrich. Jason, where are you better? You said a couple of times that you're better. Where are you better now than you were last year? And how are you translating all your athletic ability uh, into into becoming a, a better football player? Um, I would say just doing that, like, I'm getting better in the run game, run game, my steps are better. Before I was taking this elongated step, and I was rising up. That's why uh, defenders were able to get in my chest, so I'm better with that, shooting uh, more horizontally instead of vertically. Um, in my pass rush, uh, I'm, I'm having more of a plan, I'm seeing the hands, I'm not just always in the rush on the outside because, you know, defenders... They start catching on to that, and they decide to, you know, push you up outwards. So I'm taking the inside move as well. Um, I work on my physicality, so I'm taking the bull as well. I looked, I worked on my long arm, my bull rush, because you can't always rush on the outside. You gotta, you gotta apply the pressure sometimes. So I'm working on that. My pre-snap reads. I'm getting be better with formations. Just my knowledge in the game. So every like every aspect, I'm getting better. Parth. How's it going, Jason? Appreciate you doing this this morning. Thank you. Last few months, just with the you know varying reports of will the Big Ten play, will the Big Ten not play? Um, how did that affect your mental health? Um, it's it's a lot. Like I, I feel like a lot of people just don't uh, realize that part and everything. Like the players, the players' mental health. Like I know the fans, they they want football, and like, you know, like, football is a beautiful sport. I'm just happy we can play it, but like. At the end of the day, it's we're the ones playing it. It was just like an emotional roller coaster because we come back, we have high hopes we're playing and we have to leave. And then, you know, we just didn't know what was happening. So obviously, that was an emotional roller coaster and we just didn't know what we were going to do. We didn't because a lot of this, a lot of plans were messed up. A lot of plans were going to be messed up if, if there wasn't going to be a season. So you got to take that into account. You got to go through a whole nother camp a whole nother uh summer winter workouts all that it's just a lot of tolls on your body so it, 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 it was getting emotional it was bob founders hi jason thanks for your time I, I just wanted to ask you um you know during the off season do you are you aware or do you pay any attention to stuff like uh bruce feldman's freak freaks list where you're way up there and there are some people that are already talking about you uh and with regard to the nfl draft and your potential and you really you know you really are just kind of getting started a little bit at penn state do you have any reaction to that do you is it is it amusing to you do you how, how seriously do you take that stuff jason um, obviously it's it's a pleasure to be all this stuff but like i said it's it's all like a narrative you guys you guys you guys create all that stuff i just i just go out there and hoop. And I uh, try to try to be the best player that I can be, but uh, it's obviously an honor to be in all that stuff, and it just uh, helps. It's it's gonna strive me to you know 
also created things, break more records and stuff like that. But I just love that who Tyler Donahue. Jason, when you ended up committing to Penn State, Coach Spencer was such a big part of that. I know he meant a lot to you when you got to campus. Um, how's that transition gone for you? Um, do you still stay in contact at all with, with Coach Chaos? And, and what's it been like with Coach Scott so far? Yeah, uh, yeah, our, uh, me and uh, Coach Spence, uh, relationship, you know, it was always it was, it was a good one. And uh, he's, he's a, a large reason why I'm here. And... Um, it, it, it hurt when he left, but you know it was it was a good opportunity for him. And um, yeah, we still talk. I still, uh, you know, uh, congratulate him for what he did, what he's doing, and stuff like that. It was a good opportunity. Yeah. But um, my relationship with uh, Coach Scott, uh, that's my guy. That's my dog. You know, uh, he's already made a good uh, impression on us because just the the information and knowledge he's able to teach us about the game that. Uh, we weren't like you know accustomed to, so like he just he's teaching in a different way, and then we have Deion, Deion Barnes as well, and it's just like a tandem because Coach Scott is teaching us like the nuances of the game, like the little things we need to know just to be a better football player, like you know like the X's and O's and stuff like that. And Dion is telling us like the techniques, how to do it, like pass rushing, as he played, and it's just it's like a great tandem. So. I feel like we're in a great, great spot in terms of like coaching, and like it this been a, a really like great increase in uh, the skills that we that we've uh, just gotten, you know. So I feel like we're going to be really good this year. Back to Audrey Snyder. Jason, we've heard a lot last year about Adisa Isaac. Um, how have you maybe seen or heard about his progress, and what excites you about Adisa? Um, Deez is like he's I don't, I don't know, he's like freak too, and I, like that's just crazy. It's just me saying it because I'm, I'm seeing like what like a freak looks like because I've never seen it like that. And he's just he his get off is crazy. Like he, it's like that. Um, he's twitch. He's very twitchy. He's strong, explosive. To play the run, he, he and he and he's like very mature. Like I've never seen a kid that young. Like that mature and like he just knows what he has to do and does it doesn't say anything about it and just does it and uh, he has a, he has a, like a knack for the game and everything so I'm, I'm really excited for Adisa because man, he's just a sponge he, he does what he said what he what he has to do what people want him to do and he does it he does it that's what I have to say he does it 